Hello. Earlier in this unit, we talked about how media is constructed. Now, in this video, we're going to look at how that media can be biased. We know from earlier in the course that bias is showing an opinion about something that is not based on all of the facts. We're going to introduce three types of bias, which we'll discuss in more detail later in the unit. These types of bias are bias by omission, bias by placement, and bias by spin. Now let's see what these might look like. This is Adithi. Every morning, she checks the same news website to see what's happening in the world. She likes the way the articles are written, and she feels that she is getting good information. But one day, her friend Ronnie recommends a different news site. When Adithi goes there, she sees some completely different news stories with a completely different point of view. Remember, point of view means the way in which a person sees the world based on that person's beliefs and life experiences. These differences in point of view might represent bias. The first type we'll introduce is bias by omission. Let's say that on Ronnie's website, there is a big story about how angry people are that a local factory is about to close. Adithi's website also has a story about the closing factory, but it doesn't mention that anyone is angry. This information has been omitted or left out of Adithi's news website. If that information is important, then we are seeing bias by omission. The second type of bias we'll introduce is bias by placement. On Ronnie's website, the story about the closing factory is at the top of the page with a big picture and large text. The placement or location of this story tells visitors that it's a very important story. As we've already mentioned, this story is on Adithi's site too, but it isn't at the top. It's not even on the main page. In fact, it's in a different section that many people might not see. Because the placement of the story is unimportant on Adithi's site, visitors will think that the story is unimportant too. This difference in placement between the two websites shows bias by placement. The third type of bias we're going to introduce is bias by spin. When we talk about media, spin means giving a positive or negative point of view about a subject in order to change the opinion of the audience. Let's say that on Ronnie's site, the article about the closing factory makes it seem like this is a terrible situation. The words that are used and the information that's included all make it very clear that we should think it's a bad thing. However, on Adithi's website, the article about the closing factory has a much different feel. The words that are used and the information that's included all make it clear that the situation is good. Because both articles are talking about the same thing, but trying to make the audience feel a different way about it, there is probably bias by spin. To wrap up, we've introduced bias by omission, bias by placement, and bias by spin. Later in this unit, we'll spend more time with these topics and discuss how media literacy can help us recognize and deal with them. Next, we're going to read about how media bias can affect people's decisions.